great. But no. Where did you go all morning? To the park. All on your own? I was supposed to meet a friend. She didn't turn up. Too much powder. Close your eyes. Try to look as if you've worn it all your life. It's yours. Kate, I didn't recognize her. You've quite transformed her. Yes, I know. She's finally left her wretched father. I've been trying to arrange it since her mother died. She's my ward now. You'll just have to come and see us more often. She doesn't look very happy. She will be. This life is still new to her. Does she know anyone here? Just you for the time being. Well, I shall have to go and say hello. How are you settling into your new life? I'm very comfortable. You look preoccupied. I'm not used to all this. Your aunt's something of an expert at these occasions. How do you mean? She has a wonderful eye for who fits best with who. She suggested I be your guide. Over there in that corner, we have Lady Baring and her daughter. You see them? Yes. Now, what Lady Baring has to do is somehow maneuver her daughter from that side of the gathering to the other, without falling in the fountain. You see the man in the red waistcoat? Yes. He's the target. Sure. Not Why? Seen. Because of his father's bank account. Bearings have to pay for their castle somehow, as do we all. You have a castle too, Lord Mark? Well, it's seen better days. I spend more time in my London home. But you must let me entertain you in both. With your aunt, of course. Of course. Thwack. I'd like you to be my Robin daughter. Hood couldn't have shot straighter. That's ridiculous. Look, the upper class isn't going to change of its own accord. Why should it? That's exactly what I'm saying. They're only using reform to fool us, the supposedly, supposedly radical players. Who's behind this class conspiracy? I'm not saying it's a conspiracy. They're just protecting themselves as much as they can. We're all too blind to see. I completely disagree. That's your cynical point of view. I have Excuse me. Hey, you can't just leave in the middle of an argument. I just have. I thought she'd forgotten her old friends. Didn't expect to see you here again. <laughs> so how was the wedding? Awful. Didn't Aunt Maud find you a suitable husband? She tried. You thought any more about my offer? I haven't thought about anything else since the day I met you. The same thought for a whole year must be very tiring. I just go straight to your Aunt Maud and ask for your hand in marriage. All right. What would she do? Aren't I good enough for you? You're not good enough for her. Is that really necessary? For the time being. To see what you can get out of her. I never went to her. It was she who settled on me.
Kate, is that you? Lord Mark has been waiting all afternoon. I'm sorry. I got caught in the rain. I didn't know you were coming, Lord Mark. No, don't worry. It was an impromptu visit. I came to invite you both for lunch tomorrow. I'm afraid I can't tomorrow. Why not? I've arranged to meet a friend. One of your old friends? Can't you arrange to see her another day? It's too late to cancel. I'll get my driver to send her a note. Where does she live? I'm sure it'll be all right. I don't need to send a note. Yes, hello. I was wondering if Mr. Merton Densher was in the office. Okay. Do you know when he'll be back? No, 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 that's all right. Thank you. Goodbye. Open. You look surprised to see me. Yes. Yes, I am. I'm sorry. I couldn't get away until now. I have to finish this. Don't pretend you can concentrate. Well, I don't have any choice. I should have done this when I was waiting for you. Where were you? With Maud. And what did she buy you this time? Nothing. Well, you should have come with me then, because I could have bought you nothing too. It's much nicer here than I thought it would be. Nice enough to move in. Ooh, I'd have to see the rest of the house first. If I didn't let you leave tonight, what would happen? I'd be penniless, cast out of society, and I'd be stuck with you. Good. Well, we'll open a bottle of something, and in the morning, everyone will know about us. I'm not good at being impulsive. Well, maybe if you just fell asleep and I didn't wake you up. I won't maybe... fall asleep. <laughs> 